Hi Sparkles, it's Jordan Sparks. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to Briar No Lay vs. Maddie Ziegler, and oh my god, has this video been a long time coming. So I don't usually like to do direct comparison videos of dancers on my channel, but since these videos are both like 10 years old now, and both of these girls are now adults, and I don't even know if Maddie dances anymore, I think it's totally fine to do this comparison now. So, this video has been a long time coming. I did a reaction to Briar No Lay years ago, and everybody was freaking out that I even mentioned the comparison of Briar to the Dance Moms girls, and that's because growing up in Canada, there were not many people that were dancing at that caliber, and our competition scene is nowhere near as elaborate as in the United States. So, Briar was one of those standouts during that time. But that being said, let's hop into the video. I'll share my critiques as we go along. So this is Briar Nolay at 11 and Maddie Ziegler at 11. Direct comparisons. You know, I know. We're standing on the edge of mystery. If you jump, I jump. That's the only way to set us free. All right, so overall, nice so far. I would say my tips for Maddie is to keep your core connected because you get this action a bit during her turns. And I would say just to really use your feet instead of just bouncing back and forth between plie and releve to really work up and down through your feet. Overall, nice and clean, graceful, very performative and expressive. Nicely placed delicate arms, okay? Okay, so now that we're into Briar Nole, which is the reason why I'm doing this reaction, because I feel like there's a lot of crazed Next Step fans out there, and like, I get it, you guys love the show. I keep hearing all of these people saying, oh, Briar Nole at 11 years old was like head and shoulders above all of the Dance Moms girls. I don't see it. As a dance coach, I'm not impressed by doing advanced steps. I want to see a nice cohesive package. So let's compare the two directly. So Briar Nole, I would say that she looks strong and athletic, but she's so focused the entire time. Maddie, you see a nice, expressive, delicate, relaxed face throughout pretty much everything that she does. Briar is like, throughout these entire turns. Very bobbly. Again, see, she's doing nice advanced steps for her age, but her feet bobble in pretty much everything that she does. If you check out Exhibit A, the devil is in the details. So as you see here, in her preparation for her turn, she has two completely turned in sickled feet. This makes a dance coach scream inside. I would say she really needs to work on her turnout. She, she fell out of that. She never really hit the full needle in that turn and then she kind of fell forward out of it. Very nice. See, she looks very concentrated. She sickled her ankle at the end of that. But I would say her arms and everything look very strong, nice strong upper body in comparison to Maddie who is very delicate and soft in her port bra But I would say that you're supposed to relax into a turn. You don't want to kind of prepare for your turn and go <gasps> and like hold on tight for the ride. Hope you don't fall off. That is like, that is I think a lot of people's natural instinct when you're turning is that you need to control and really, really, really hold on tight. Yes, you want to be engaged in a turn, but you don't want to be tense. So you want to be able to relax into a turn, have everything aligned and have your nice proper placement. Your head and your neck need to be completely relaxed in a turn because you need to be able to spot. And in order to spot, you have to be completely relaxed. You can't spot with like a tense, stiff neck. So the biggest thing that I noticed so far is that Briar was kind of choreographed above her skill level. These are things that she could do well in the studio probably, things that she was working on 
but not things that I would incorporate into a choreographed piece. Because if you need to stop and be like so focused on what you're doing in order to complete that trick, it really takes away from the overall performance because you completely step out of the performance in order to do a trick and then you step back into the performance. But overall, that is a big comparison that I see. Maddie is always performing. She doesn't really ever stop and look super focused on anything, even in her turns. Everything kind of looks natural and flows and has a sense of grace. Whereas Briar, it looks very athletic. She looks very focused and it reminds me more of a gym routine. See, again, overall, I would say that her lines are nice and clean, but it looks very gymnastic to me. Everything is very hard and tense and placed, and her alignment seems pretty good to me. Physically, it seems good, but it doesn't... I don't feel anything. It doesn't feel relaxed. It doesn't feel like dancing to me. It feels like gymnastics. And I know that Briar definitely has a background in gymnastics, but that is why I wanted to do this video because being strong and powerful doesn't always translate to an overall clean package as a dancer. If I were to be scoring these two performances, I'd be like, damn, you go girl for the fact that I'm seeing this girl attempt all of these advanced tricks, seeing her strength and control, but overall for a dance, I would score Maddie higher. So I'm just going to bring up an example of a score sheet at competition here so that you guys can get a general idea. Every competition is going to be a little bit different, but this is just in general what you're going to see as a competition score sheet. So stay tuned till the end because I'm going to score both girls and I'm going to explain my scoring and my critiques and then we will see who wins. Alright, very high leaps for Maddie. Everything looks delicate and relaxed. Again, everything looks strong with Briar. Skill level wise in this piece, Briar is doing a side aerial off of a bench, so that is pretty advanced, but we don't see her do a front aerial. I'm sure she probably could do a front aerial. Her gymnastic skills are head and shoulders above her dance skills in my opinion. But yeah, Maddie was doing a nice, clean, soft, delicate, graceful front aerial, and she definitely has more mobility and flexibility than Briar does at this age. Full use of the arch of her spine, full straddle split, full parallel split. See, again here, she's doing a full back split, but she doesn't ever extend her knee. She doesn't ever stretch the knee and lock the back of the knee. We never get a full actual extension from Briar. She's hitting more than 180 degrees, but we never see a nice clean line. You don't really see a nice clean line from her duet partner either, so no one's safe. See, Maddie executes her movements a lot more clean. She's really clean during her transition, so everything blends together smoothly. I saw her foot bobble maybe twice in this entire video so far, and I think it was going up into a fan kick, and once when she was preparing to start her turns, it looks like the floor is slippery here. But that was it. I didn't see her like fall out of anything or make anything abrupt or start and stop. Run away. 
Even at 11, I'm looking at Maddie and I'm basically seeing a seasoned professional in the performance. And with Briar, I'm seeing like a really strong warrior kind of gymnast kid, but I'm not seeing like a seasoned professional. So overall, I would say that Briar is really, really strong and fierce, but she really needs to be working on her performance execution and her grace and transitions. So now we're going to compare scores because again, as a dance coach, I'm not impressed by doing super advanced skills in a number if they're not clean. Save that for your acro class. Like I don't want to see this really, really tense, focused face on stage literally ever in any dance style. I just don't think that on stage is the time to challenge yourself to a new skill. I feel like those are skills that you should be able to do in your sleep before you ever take them to the stage. Because as a dancer, you have to think about the end goal. Your job is to be performing for a paid audience. And a paid audience wants to see a nice seamless performance. They don't want to see you work. They don't want to see you focused. They don't want to see, oh, are they gonna fall out of this? They want to go, they want to watch you do amazing things and they want to watch you do them seamlessly and as if it's super easy and you could do it in your sleep. So that is kind of the end goal as a dancer. The end goal is not to be able to do 17 turns. The end goal is not to be able to do like a double leg catch turn. Those are not necessary parts of being a dancer. The goal is to be able to deliver a nice, clean performance at whatever skill level your choreographer has thrown on you for that particular job. So let's uh, score that. I'm going to score Briar first. So I'll pull up an example of the score sheet here on the screen. Every competition is going to be a little bit different, but this is going to be in general what you're going to see at most competitions and how things are scored. So we're going to give her under fundamental skills execution, and I'm going to give her an eight out of 10. Essentially, she did a bunch of really, really advanced tricks here. There was a lot of tension. There was a lot of focus. And yes, these tricks were really, really strong, but they were lacking grace and fluidity. So I'm going to give her an eight out of 10. Now for energy, I'm going to give her a nine out of 10. She was really, really strong. She was really powerful. Her stamina was there from the beginning to the end. That is definitely not an issue for Briar but there was nothing going on in her face for this entire number to me. So I'm gonna give her a nine out of 10 because the energy was there in her body, but it wasn't in her face. Control of movements. Again, she's really strong. She's really powerful. She's really fierce in this number. And at 11 years old, doing a really, really good job. You don't see a lot of 11 year olds that are that powerful. I think of like Asia Monet Ray, who's like really fierce and strong even at six and doing like incredible gymnastics tricks or Everly Rose. She's really, really strong and fierce as well. But uh, both of those dancers were really fierce in the face and Briar to me is lacking all of that in the face. It's all in the body for her. She is really powerful in her movements, but there was nothing going on in her face. But again, for control of movements, I am looking for control of the entire movement. I'm looking for you to rise clean into that releve, for your turns to be nice and controlled and fluid, and for you to finish that turn with the transition into another movement. I don't want to see this abrupt stopping and starting or doing like a double leg catch and falling out of it because it's too advanced for you to be doing on stage. So for control of movements, I'm gonna give her an eight because again, these were really advanced steps, really strong, but they weren't completely executed with perfect control. So I'm giving her an eight out of 10 there. Now for visual effects and tricks, she did a lot of cool tricks in here. She did an aerial off the bench. She did the double back attitude out of the turning sequence. She, she did the back needle turn. I would say overall, there was a lot of visuals and tricks. I just would have liked to see them taken back a little bit and done cleanly. So if you can't do a double needle turn, then maybe just do one and put a smile on your face or something on your face, <laughs> show some expression. But yeah, I would say pull back on doing so many advanced tricks and lend a little bit more performance to this. So I would say overall though, I'm gonna give a nine because even though there wasn't much performing going on with the tricks, they were pretty advanced tricks and that would be fun for the audience. So I'm gonna give a nine out of 10. Now this next section is called overall performance. 
For choreography and creativity, I would say that the choreography had a lot of tricks, but it wasn't very fluid. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. For showmanship, I'm actually just going to give Briar a 6, to be honest. Like, I felt like the performance was really lacking in the face, and there wasn't a story whatsoever. I wasn't really feeling anything, so I'm going to give it a 6. Now, the degree of difficulty. Even though it wasn't executed cleanly, there was a lot of difficult tricks in here. There wasn't a lot of difficult transitions by any means, but the standalone tricks, there was a lot of difficulty there. So, so degree of difficulty, I'm going to give an 18 out of 20 here, so that's a 90%. Now, for the overall effect, I really didn't feel much from this number. I felt the wow factor a couple times, like, wow, she's doing a side aerial off of a bench, or wow, she's going to do a double back needle turn. So some of those things were cool to me, but I didn't really feel much. I'm going to give a 17 out of 20, which is an 85%. So a total for the top section out of 40, she gets a 34. And for the bottom section, which is out of 60, I'm giving her a total score of 49 for an overall score of 83 out of 100. So that's 83 points for Briar. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for Maddie. I felt like everything in here was completely clean, executed really well, it flowed together, there were very, very clean transitions, knees were stretched, feet were pointed, I didn't see any sickling. I would say overall I'm going to give Maddie a 10 out of 10 for execution. Now for energy, I feel like Maddie comes on strong as a performer, and she never dips below that. She just keeps rising, she tells a story, she really, really captures the judges and the audience with her face, and she performs through her entire body. I would say that all of the ALDC dancers that were trained by Abby kind of have a bit of a soft movement quality, which doesn't translate to every style well, so I'm gonna say overall for energy, amazing in the face, could be a little bit stronger in the body. I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10. Now, control of movements. Again, the transitions were extremely clean. I saw a nice turnout. And there was a nice suspension of the legs coming out of the extensions, like the fan kick. There's a nice full suspension to 180 degrees in the grand jeté. I see nice completed, full, clean lines. I would just say that during the turns, she gets a little bit like this, like I was saying. She could really use her feet a lot more and really work through that plie and through that releve in her turns. But overall, really good. I would say that I'm going to give her a 9 again in this category. Visual effects and tricks, we saw a front aerial, we saw the turning sequences. There wasn't anything that was like kabam in terms of tricks, but everything was really, really clean and beautiful to watch. So there wasn't a ton of tricks, but the entire piece was so cohesive and clean right from the beginning to the end. There was no abrupt starts or stops, and the performance was beautiful, so I'm going to give her a 9. Moving on from the fundamental skills into the overall performance section, so we have choreography and creativity. I would say that every single step in this Maddie's solo had been done before. These are all regurgitated steps from ballet and other lyrical numbers. It was beautiful. I loved the choreography, but... Was it that creative? Not necessarily. I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10 for this. For showmanship, I would give Maddie a 10 out of 10. Her performance holds its own. She could work as a professional at 10 years old. I would hire her to work on Broadway and be the star dancer. She could be the Cassie in a chorus line. 10 out of 10. That is what's special about Maddie. Her showmanship. To me, that is unmatched. I don't really see that out of any other kids in that age category. Still, it's really rare for me to see a kid that's actually connecting and not just giving me... <laughs> so, that's the difference between, like, Maddie and Mackenzie at that age. Mackenzie would be, like... Maddie would be fully invested in her emotion. This is what I think is Maddie's gift, so I'm giving her a 10 out of 10 there. Now, degree of difficulty. We saw the front aerial that is considered a difficult acro trick for an 11-year-old. We saw those turning sections. Nothing here was incredibly difficult. Like, she wasn't doing a leg catch turn. She wasn't doing a double back needle turn. Nothing like that. So I would say for a degree of difficulty, this is out of 20. I'm going to give this category a 16. Now, overall effect, I thought that she did a great job with this. I thought it was visually appealing. It was overall really nice to watch. It was easy to watch. You weren't questioning whether she was going to complete any movement or whether she was going to fall out of anything because it was clean and clear and controlled from the beginning, which gives you a sense of ease in the audience watching the performer. 
really clean, easy to watch, gives you a aw kind of feeling. Overall effect, I'm going to give this a 90, so an 18 out of 20. So to tally Maddie's total score, the fundamental skills section was out of 40. I docked her three points, that gives her a 37 out of 40. The bottom section for overall performance is counted out of 60 points. I docked her six, seven, eight points, leaves her at a 52 out of 60 which leaves Maddie with an overall score of 89 out of 100 versus Briar at an overall score of 83 out of 100. So yes, they were both close, and I don't think that they dance anything alike, but I would always score Maddie higher in this age category because the overall performance is always going to weigh heavy in your scoring, and it doesn't really matter if you do a whole bunch of super advanced tricks if you don't draw people in with the story and with your face and show them an overall performance. So overall, they're both great. Obviously, Briar is absolutely incredible now, and I haven't seen much from Maddie recently. But I did want to give you guys kind of an unbiased critique of the two dancers, because we are judging them here directly based off of skills and off of a performance where they are the exact same age. So I just got all the time that Briar is so much better than everybody from the cast of Dance Moms. And again, I would probably score Bryn higher in this age category. I would have scored Kalani higher. They were all just much more cleaner overall packages as a dancer. There were nice clean transitions. There was just no falling out of things and abrupt starts and stops. And they all performed with their faces and through their movement. And that's something that I feel like Briar was lacking at 11. And a lot of people say that she only had a few years of dance experience at this age. I don't really know. But again, we were trying to give the most objective critique that I possibly could comparing the two dancers at 11 years old. Because like on this video, for example, in the comments section, everybody was like, C. Briar is just absolutely amazing. But again, as a dance coach, while I'm scoring and critiquing numbers, I don't see that. Because doing a super advanced trick that I've already seen 900 times today isn't going to impress me unless you do it super clean and you perform it. I don't see the point of putting in a double back needle turn if it doesn't add anything to the story. I don't see the point of doing a leg catch turn if it's not going to be adding something to the story. So so that's where I'm coming from as a dance educator and in my scoring analysis here. But let me know what you guys thought of this video down in the comments below. Let me know if you thought my critiques were fair. I feel like I am already super strict when it comes to my judging. I see every little tiny detail, so I'm always going to probably be the Simon Cowell at the table that gives you the lowest score, because I bet you there's going to be people at the table that, that would have scored these numbers both in the 90s. But but the number's got to be literally perfect because I'm going to give you the most fair critique based off of the score sheet in front of me and I'm not going to give you a score based off of, wow, I really liked that performance. So we got to break it down into all the categories and be fair with every performer and every dancer and that's what I tried to do in this video. So again, I may be super harsh and critical when it comes to the scoring and the judging, but that's the only fair way to do it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments. If you have any other dances that you would like me to react to, let me know down in the comments below as well. And I think that that is it for this video. So let me know if you are Team Briar or Team Maddie down in the comments below. And as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.